if we know what the stability at home is doing to every other aspect of our life I'm telling you, they are bewitched. Yesterday, when I heard the story, I just knew the man is charmed. He is bewitched. Why would you attack your wife for confronting you that you went to fornicate with a member? It's a devil. You are not ashamed of embarrassment. You should be ashamed that you'll be having a discussion with your wife and it's concerning the fact that you went to sleep with another woman. You should be ashamed of yourself. And you have the guts to attack her. Barakayata. But when the demonic powers enter a human being what human beings can defend it will shock you <laughs> he will beat you and still defend it that am I, am I not the man that's you are possessed you are possessed you are a devil you are going to pray any devil that wants to turn your partner into a monster Very good until wedding day. Buying you gifts until wedding happened. Calling you morning, evening until wedding happened. And suddenly, you mean nothing to him, you mean nothing to her. Palabosia. You are going to deal with that devil. Listen, if that devil enters your family, eh, you will regret it. He has no respect for anointing. You can be married to a pastor and he will, he will let the pastor deal with you. It will shock you. He has no respect. There are devils. There are devils. Listen, some of you know what you are going through. For months, your husband has never ate your food. There are marriage couples that for years, your husband has not touched you in bed. Yet he's sleeping with girls outside. That's a monster spirit. But today, that monster returns back to hell. I said that monster returns back to hell. You are free. There are some of you women in debt because you borrowed to cook. Yet you are married to a man sponsoring his friends outside. But you borrow to cook food. You borrow to do your hair. But the man is sponsoring friends at night clubs. There are some of you married to men and some of you married to women that that devil returns he returns he returns that devil returns he returns back to sender back to sender we won't entertain it you want you want there are demonic monsters husband has a job wife has a job the moment wedding is done husband lose job wife lose job you are all staying at home
after marriage one says i i am i the lady whose testimony uh, who lost her ovarian fallopian tube two months after marriage surgery then her ovaries and uh, fallopian tubes are removed what attack is that what devil is that That devil is a bastard. That devil is a bastard. A man was married to a woman. Whether the woman, the woman is in Ghana here. Whether the woman, by the time the woman realized, the man has come to pick side chick rather to US. Side chick rather. What's it mean? Come on, Nuntu. And you are prepared. Mean come on, Nuntu. Angels, angels outside, demons inside. Angels outside, monsters in the house. Angels on puppets, monsters at home. There are pastors' wives that when the when the pastor is preaching, the wife is angry seated. Angels on puppet, monsters in the house. A young lady came to me recently and told me something that the contract the husband has had with her is that when they go out, they are married. When they come into the house, they are not married. It shouldn't come her. She shouldn't come his direction. Do you know that over forty percent of married couples are living in separate rooms? separate rooms where he and a door bring this car high three bedroom apartment. Obeko ba kumna ne irako ba kumna ne marko ba kum. O he and ti na se o muni na da da ba kum. O mu mu sa da e da ba kum so ba kudam pa so ba kudam for. Monsters. And now obisi be a woo a kani ni na. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Couples who don't talk. But recently, I read a testimony like that. A couple who had not spoken for almost a year or so, and were playing because they just pretend when children are around. And you may think it is normal. Oh. There's a monster in the house. And listen to me. If your marriage didn't work, it will shock you. You may miss heaven. I, I tell you. Send your dead beer now, boyfriend. The way you are always bitter, it will shock you that your grace will fail. If marriage does not work, many people will miss in destiny. Now, some of you, the evil plans for your partner that is constantly cooking in you don't you know it's a sin yeah. you've got to pray and let me my own free hand because he said i don't know i don't know i don't know i do every breast cancer breast lamp that is taking away the peace and the joy of families. Every strange discharges. Every evil sickness. That is not making people enjoy their marriages. Clap your hands and shout. Break! In the name of Jesus. Anybody in between your marriage. That looks like a lover. Jesus. That looks like a counselor. Jesus. That looks like he's talking some for you. Jesus. But it's actually but biting you before your partner. Jesus. And that 24 hours. Jesus. We remove them from the marriage. Jesus. We remove them from the marriage. Jesus. 
We remove them from the marriage. Any family member of your partner, both sides, any family member who is physically making sure that the marriage doesn't work, their lives will not work, their health will not work, their jobs will not work. They will have too many problems, they can't destroy your marriage. They will have too many personal problems. They won't have time to gossip about you. They won't have time to gossip about you. There are, some, there are certain prophetic words that shocks me. Last time, uh, after our, we were just praying and the Lord opened my eyes and I saw somebody called Anteboga, Anteboga. I was shocked that the following day a call came. He said, sir, Antiboga is my in-law. Many will cast us a CA or near to US. Many will cast us a CA. May bush your four as a Berman bush your four the insane by your gun. Single handedly, the woman came to visit us. Came to visit us. And she has not spent even some few months. Antiboga has collapsed the basic man. Many of you, all that your wife is doing to you, there is somebody speaking to them. All that your husband is doing to you, there is somebody speaking to them. Balus Kahaba. There are people God genuinely called them, but they will die as servants of the devil because of the wrong people they married. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Go to Pantai, go to psychiatric hospital to shock you. Half of them, the cases is marriage. And I was shocked when we, go, we went to Insawem prison and the boss there told us that pastor, deal with marriages for us. Because the highest cases that brings people here has to do with marriage and relationship. I was there with Apostle Ajima. Stay with him. He said that the case, the cases are marriages and relationships. He said the highest cases. So marriage is sending people to psychiatric hospital. Marriage is sending people to prison. You said we shouldn't handle it. Do you know the number of people planning to poison their partners? Koma Sadaba. Do you know the highest cases for suicide has to do with love and relationship? The highest cases for suicide. One institution is the reason why people are going to prison and the reason why people are killing themselves. Why? 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 If God has given me a little anointing, may he help me to use it to settle marriages. If I have a little anointing, may that anointing handle your marriage. I said, may that anointing handle your marriage. May that anointing handle your marriage. A year by this time, there will be too many good marriages. There will be too many good marriages. A week by this time, people will be testifying how God has fixed their marriages. Some of you, oh, some of you don't know how favor looks like until there is peace at home. All that is fighting your glory in life is mostly the atmosphere at home. Today, one of my daughters called me, was telling me her condition at home now. How that today, or no one drew or can it or say, Papa, he said, Me couldn't see me for more. Why? Yes. Yes. I was excited. I was excited. I was excited. My sister said, Before my husband leaves, to the workplace, 
I have to speak over him. He will allow me to pray for him before he leaves. I tell you. And that is how all atmospheres work, health, and everything. And look at what she said afterwards. He says that before I encountered you, he said every time my children, all of them, will have to be sick and they will not finish the term. He said after I encountered you, last term they finished it. Yeah. Do you, listen, do you know it's not anything supernatural. No. Let me tell you the reason. Because now there is peace yes. between father and mother. So children will also have good health. I yeah. see, they said my children are not good in class. But last time, 100%, 100%, 100%. Man of God, if your marriage does not work, ministry won't work. Can I repeat it? If marriage does not work, ministry won't work. Every level you are in, you could have been better. If not for every day going back home and fighting your wife. If we know what the stability at home is doing to every other aspect of our lives. Your best shot. You can't see your mom paying for what you want, and you can't see you shed your shell. Why worry a bit, mama? Or see, kid, Gina. Why worry a bit, mama? When you do, maybe a best shot. You saw some jail with fear. Who could be my free nipple? My shrawa, a brana Rebecca Nyaba, a Isaac Nakobon pie. You bet my free Nakuma Mushrawa, who be pee and was slept. Jesus Christ. Never be ashamed if you have to take a step concerning your marriage. Because if your marriage fails, they will laugh at you. It doesn't matter who encourages you in divorce. Some will laugh. There is glory in marriage that could work. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Say, say, dear, what are you go? Ah, Uben Nipa Bumun Samama. But say, Assemba, na ye penipa, o moon nim yan sa wa coma. Ah, ye, ye pe will be a bit me genemoa. A best shock you see a big cow walk. Bible crack on, or see, don't mean she ni fee, yam far sorry in Hano. Fast. And let him name them in Yasem. And so Munti Mamin Yasem. Am I here with the church? Yes. Please, if you have already lost your marriage, I'm only telling you that the next one hold it well. Yes. Is somebody here with me? Yes. I'm only telling you the next one hold it well. If you have not lost it too, and you are about to lose it, stand well and let us solve the problem. Yes. Is somebody here with me? Yes. Stand well and let us solve that problem. They told me a history about a man of God. And the man of God lost his marriage. And all the bishops under him, all of them, only one is still married. Everybody else lost his marriage. If you are coming from a home, your father... You, you, your father divorced your mother and you are married to somebody whose father divorced her mother yeah vampire in in france and show but tomorrow me my mini me papa worry close to 30 and 40 years me here my mini me papa worry more than 30 years and go 40 years and she soon soon made the chimpo yeah and no boy i see a vampire wa wu kuru ma mi ni papa jai o sa ko wari fufro se jai wu su ma mi no papa jai u jira ho bo life
Outside, are you there? I can't hear you. Are you there? Uh huh. Uh huh. No more life for the mom pie. Shout it loud and clear. I will marry. I will marry. And nothing can break the marriage. In the name of Jesus. Prophesy it again. Shout it loud and clear. I will marry. Uh -huh. In the name of Jesus. You are going to prophesy it five times. If I say one, you declare it. If I say two, you declare it. Yeah. Come on, when you from MPM will be gone. So when I shout in the one in the name of Jesus, you declare. Two in the name of Jesus, you declare. One in the name of Jesus. I will marry. Stop. Two. I will marry. And nothing can stop our marriage. I will marry. And nothing can fake my marriage. I will marry. And nothing can fake my marriage. I will marry and nothing can fit my marriage. Lift up voice and begin to pray. Oh, 
Somebody shall marriage is my portion. The devil will not torment me in my marriage. In Jesus' name, my partner will not be used by the enemy against me. I will not be used by the enemy against my partner. In the name of Jesus, somebody shout, I will manifest. First Samuel chapter 10 verse number 1 Then Samuel took a vial of oil and poured it upon his head and kissed him and said Is it not because the Lord has anointed thee to be captain over his inheritance? Somebody say captain over his inheritance And as we all know that his inheritance is Israel And when thou art depart Verse 2 when thou art depart from me today, then thou shalt find two men by Rahel Sapoka in the border of Benjamin at Zelzah. And they will say unto thee, the asses which we all went to seek are found. And lo, thy father has left the, the asses and sorrowed for thee, saying, What shall I do for my son? Mm -hmm. Then shalt thou go on forward from tents, and thou shalt come to the plain of Tamar, and there shall meet thee three men there going up to God to battle, one carrying three kids, and another carrying three loaves of bread, and another carrying a bottle of wine. Verse 4. Listen to me before we get here. The Bible says that and Samuel anointed Saul. Somebody says extreme manifestation. Uh -huh. And Samuel anointed Saul and said, Is it not that the Lord has anointed thee to be captain of his inheritance? And then the moment the oil touched on Saul's head, the next thing was that he found himself in Rahel's sepulchre and would meet two men. And the men would bring him good news that what he has been looking for has been found. So the first, you see, the first thing that happened to him is that the oil made him captain of the Lord's inheritance. Number two, the oil made him locate what he has been looking for. He said, what you were looking for has been found. Amen. And then thirdly, oh, may, you, may something be restored to you. I said, may something be restored to you. And then thirdly, another thing happens. There is power in the oil. Lord. 